So if you're one of those perfectionists who wants to capture a full right-sided ECG when you see an inferior wall MI, you can actually take, uh, it burns a few more electrodes, but you can take a full right-sided ECG by doing nothing more than mirroring your electrodes down the patient's right side. And then all you would do is reverse the actual electrode placement. So you would just take V1 goes where V2 was, V2 where V1 goes, V3, V4, V5, etc. Now these ECGs don't really take a lot of effort to learn how to interpret, but just as a quick pointer, you want to make sure that you pay particular attention to V3, V4, and V5. Those can really show you that right-sided uh, ventricle, and that right ventricle can be your problem in an inferior wall MI because those patients are preload dependent. So if you want to start practicing these on your fairly normal patients to start getting a good idea what a normal ECG looks like from this side, you'll have a good baseline for when something's going wrong and it'll give you an idea of how you want to proceed with your treatment.